Some of our favorite things to make on the griddle are cheesesteak sandwiches. And Adam told me about this one and I was like, yeah, twist my arm. I don't know, I'm counting. But we do like doing cheesesteaks, chicken cheesesteaks in fact, but this one isn't really even a cheesesteak. We're calling this a barbecue chicken cheesesteak because of how we're cooking it up. We'll talk about that in just a minute. You wanna see how we put this one down on the griddle? Stick around while we dig in. We are here once again, and this one is gonna be a little bit different. I'm calling this a cheesesteak. It wasn't originally. We thought, hey, let's do a barbecue chicken this sandwich. It was about 15 minutes ago when we yeah. decided to call Not it Not necessarily when we were planning, because we had wanted to do a, another barbecue cook, mm -hmm. a barbecue chicken cook, and then I thought, you know what? I wanna prep this one the same way we do cheesesteaks and our chicken cheesesteaks. Chicken cheesesteaks are my wife's favorite thing that we throw down on the griddle, mm -hmm. and I thought, I wanna do this the same way. Add that barbecue sauce before we cheese it up on the hoagie. Yep. Same as we would. We've got some diced onions, bread. I've just about named all the groceries. Why don't you go ahead and talk about them just in case I missed one or two. Here we go, we got, we are using chicken breast today. No, thigh. Oh, I, my apologies, yes, you're right. Sir. It is chicken thigh today. Cut up, it looks a little bit like um, yes, breast. Right. Uh, we're using sunny sweet barbecue sauce. That is our favorite barbecue sauce. These red diced onions and these hoagie rolls from Publix as well as provolone cheese. Right, and so we're gonna get a little sear on this. I'm gonna throw a little bit of butter down on the griddle. If I was on a steel unit, I'd probably use a little bit of oil, just a little, yep. but this is chicken thigh. Now. I wanted to kind of shave it down, get it prepped like I would before I do a cheesesteak, a chicken cheesesteak. But let's get to the griddle so you can see the process. We're gonna get over to the griddle. I was about to uh, put the headphones on, but I forgot. Brett's filming me today. I'm the headphone guy. So first thing is what we're gonna do is I've got this side of the griddle on. I'm gonna get my butter on here. I said a little butter. I lied. <laughs> I want a lot of butter. And we're gonna get this going here and then I'll toss my chicken in here. But this is the hot side of the griddle. Right now I've got these up to just about medium, just about medium low down here, all three dials. We want this to cook up hot and fast. And then when we build them, I'll build them off to the side where the heat is off, where the cheese can just melt and we'll be good to go. All right, so now that's just about there. Gonna get our, now this is chicken thigh meat. I want a chicken breast. breast. Brett's like, no, let's do chicken thigh. I'm like, I don't hate the idea. All right, so we're just gonna let this cook down and get nice, a nice little sear so I can bring the temperature even up just a little bit more. And I'll really start chopping this down. We'll get it set and we'll get the sauces in there. But while it's doing this, I'm gonna get some salt and pepper in there. Get a little salt. There we go, there we go. Y un poco pepper. Pimienta. Pimienta. I always think I say, I think I always say pepino. Pepino is cucumber. All right, so this side of the griddle is off but it is still got a lot of residual heat on the surface itself. So we're just gonna put these here and I'll turn them just to get these nice and toasty warm while we're doing that. But that's what I like to hear. Go ahead and give those a turn, dude, because they're not gonna get toasty. They're just gonna get a little roasty. <laughs> yep, they're getting roasty for sure. All right, so we're gonna flip our chicken. It is cooking. So now what I wanna do Start shaving? Yeah. So this is how I do the cheesesteaks and chicken cheesesteaks. So I haven't shaved down just a little bit. Now, the chicken wasn't cold when I when I went to um, shave it down, or when I, yeah, when I went to cut it. And so it just cut it. Wasn't cold wasn't yeah, frozen? Wasn't, it was cold, but not frozen. There you go. <laughs> and you like, want oh, it slightly, room temperature? And not, not, slow, <laughs> not frozen, frozen, but just slight. Um, and so we got these little strips, not as thin as I'd like, because uh, this should cook really quick. But anyways, all we're doing is just really breaking this down. Yeah, pro tip, if you do want to shave it down, the best way to do it is to get it where it's almost frozen. So in the freezer yes. for about 30, 45 minutes, then it comes out and it's really easy to, to, to cut really, really razor thin. It's what we do with our ribeye too mm -hmm. for the cheesesteaks. So all I'm doing is getting rid of the strips effect of this and then we'll start making our effective little piles. We'll get some barbecue sauce on them, cheese on them and then the buns on them, and then we'll pull them up. All right, so this chicken is cooked through. So turn those burners down, and then what we're gonna do, Brett? Yes. We get our little stacks. Here we go, our little strips. We onion. got our red onion. That's right, just put it on. We're gonna get some here, just a little in there. Perfect, you want the cheese or barbecue sauce now? Barbecue sauce. So barbecue this is how I envisioned sauce. this. This is Sonny's, this is our favorite. One of our favorites, I guess. Yeah, it's actually yeah, one of our Because then what I kinda wanna do is I kinda wanna, wanna mix these in. Mm. I made my lines, then got the sauce and realized what, what I want is I want the sauce mixed in. 
Oh, Brett, this smells on. Oh, I know. Real. I'm getting a nice little waft right here, man. Wafting, wafting. Analysis. Perfection. Oh, welcome to Sonny's. <laughs> There we go. Pills are good. <laughs> right? I was just thinking the same thing. So now we go back to our strips. Do you remember when we were kids, Brett, and mom would make barbecue chicken? Yeah. That's what this smells like to me. Oh, memories. Wow. What a, that puts us on our, our back deck. Right? At That's the exactly grill. where I was at the barbecue grill. Now, yep. Would she do any other barbecue chicken or was it just drumsticks? Because that's uh, all I remember. She would do, she would do regular, she would do like a, a thighs. I remember having thighs. All right. Okay. Ooh, what you know, do you think? You know what I might want to put on these, Adam? What? Pickles. Ooh. <laughs> I could see that being a thing. Okay. So now we take our hot rolls, put them on the outside, on the outside, on the outside. Chick, chick, chaw. Okay. We'll close this for just a minute. Pickles. I can see there's a possibility. All right, Brett, there it is. Time to scoop Look these up. This is my favorite balls. part. Oh, yeah. I got a nice cheese pole and dripping off the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Put her there. Put her there, pal. Oh, yes to the dress. <laughs> Just saying yes to the dress. Oh, my stars. Look at this. Oh. Look at this. <laughs> Might be my favorite cook so far. <laughs> I told you, this is what I had envisioned. Wow. So I said barbecue chicken cheesesteak. Oh Each. yes. You should see what's going on in the back of it. I do, I can see oh, it. Kind God. of, probably not from the angle you can. Got that right, girlfriend. Got that. But I love that the chicken just kind of crisped up with the barbecue sauce on it. Got room for one more. Burla. Every time. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. All right, well, um, I would say there it is in all its glory. I'm gonna grab the plate because <laughs> Brett grabbed a good one. Mine's a little bit tender, juicy, loving. Now, we threw on some best, pickles, best, best made, made pickles. Sorry, let me change the angle. They're best made pickles because they're the they best, the best pickles made. on the planet. These look super good. Now, I think you're really hot. Are they gonna be too hot to eat? I, I can't tell because, I mean, obviously I'm, I'm able to handle it, but that's no, yeah, I'm going okay. to be okay. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited for the pickle in this It too. looks exactly like I'd hoped. Now I'm hoping that it tastes as good on home brown. Like we say, it can look amazing. This looks so amazing. Like with the pickles on there too. Like we say, it can smell amazing. I know amazing. I mentioned it once or twice, but can I get a smell yet? Yeah? Smell yeah, you can. <laughs> but if this doesn't taste amazing, then this is all, all for, for not. Cheers. I'll eat to that, my mm -hmm. brother. Mm. Hold on. Mm. It's so messy, but in all the right way. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Dude. Hands down. Best barbecue chicken sandwich I've ever had. I've had. That is so good. Like, no. I want more. It is such a mess though. That chicken is perfect. Great mm. sauce, the cheese, the pickles. You get that coolness, that mm. sour from it. Mm -hmm. Pickles, perfect. Uh, of course, we love these public ho hoagie rolls for the integrity. They're, they got that. Nice shell on the outside, but it's soft and fluffy on the inside. That red onion, perfect, wow. That was good. Turned out exactly like I hoped it would. So oh, satisfying. Oh my gosh, that was good. That's a and good you could really, And you could go either way, the chicken breast or the chicken thigh. These thighs were perfect for this yeah, one. Yeah, so perfect. Love and it's all peppered yeah. just right. If you enjoyed this video, if it gave you some, an idea of something else that you can do on your griddle, because by the way, I think you have to do this yeah. one. You've got to try this <laughs> barbecue cheesesteak. Right. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is by purchasing one of our two cookbooks, the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook or Smashed. Smashed. Both released and we're so excited Smashed just was released. Yep. They're, they can be found on Amazon or anywhere books are sold. And now, I know people might say, that's not a cheesesteak, that's not a cheesesteak. 
like we said, we call it a barbecue cheesesteak for the manner in which we cooked it, which is similar Correct. to the cheesesteaks that exactly. we do. So don't hate on us for just We're calling it, trying to come up with something creative. This is our channel. We enjoyed it. <laughs> but love that we came into this one. Yep. Aside from coming knocking out another banger, a great one like this, the barbecue cheesesteak. Yes. Oh my gosh, the chicken barbecue, barbecue, barbecue chicken, chicken cheesesteak. Cheese Why else do we do all this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. With that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And grin along. Hey.